Welcome everyone. This is Chloe with Cousin DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful gold and turquoise blue statement necklace. I'm going to get set up and I'll be right back. The first step is to make 14 beaded drops that will look like this. I've gone ahead and made up 13. I'll show you how to make one. We're going to take three four millimeter gold rounds, a blue e bead, three more four millimeter gold rounds, a short clear bugle bead, a turquoise bugle bead, and one more four millimeter gold round. And those of you who have watched my videos before know I like to use a, what I call a cheater bead. You don't have to, you can eyeball it if you want. But this bead is seven to eight millimeters, and I use it as a guide as to where to cut my stem before I form my loop. It's very helpful because they all come out really consistent. So I've trimmed the stem and um, I like to bend the top of the stem and then uh, with a needle nose pliers and then take my round nose and form my loop. So we have those all made. I'm going to set those aside. Next, uh, we're going to make 28 beaded drops that look like this. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one now. A half an inch of blue e-beads. And I've already measured these one four millimeter gold round, another half inch of blue e-beads, one small clear bugle bead, turquoise bugle bead, four millimeter gold round, another turquoise bugle bead, and one more short clear bugle bead. Use my cheater bead to trim my stem. Cut the stem and form a loop on the top. I want to make sure those loops are centered right in the top of the beaded drops like so. Make sure they're nice and straight. The next step is to attach six millimeter jump rings to the top loop of all these beaded drops. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach a six millimeter jump ring to the top of all these beaded drops. Now that we have all those jump rings attached, next we're going to uh, join groups of these together. We're going to start with a beaded drop from step one, four beaded drops from step two, and another beaded drop from step one. And we're going to slide the top jump ring in order of these to another six millimeter jump ring. And then we're going to attach another jump ring 
to that jump ring. We want to make sure that jump ring's nice and closed. So these will lay like so. The two shorter beaded drops will be on the outside and this top jump ring will be what's holding it on the beading wire. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join the other six groups together just like I did this one. Now that we have all these groups joined together, we're ready to start assembling the necklace. I've cut a 24 inch length of gold beading wire and we're going to um, start a sequence. A blue wee bead, turquoise bugle bead, and just dump some more here. Blue wee bead, a six millimeter gold round. The jump ring on the top of one group of beaded drops, another six millimeter gold round. And we're going to repeat this until we have all of these strung onto our necklace. Now on each side of the necklace, we're going to string on five six millimeter gold rounds. and a blue EB. And we're gonna repeat that four more times. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the necklace. Okay, now that we have our, our necklace all strung, it's time to finish the ends. I'm going to find my crimp tubes and some jump rings here. I've had got these all ready. And a lobster clasp. So the first step is to attach a four millimeter jump ring to a lobster clasp. And we will slide on crimp tube, bring the wire through the four millimeter jump ring and back through the crimp tube. Make it snug right up against the jump ring. And we'll use crimping pliers to, to close that crimp tube. Nice and snug. And next we're just going to trim the excess tail on that beading wire. Now we want to attach a six millimeter jump ring to the other end of our necklace. But before we do that, I have cut a approximately three inch length of extender chain which comes in our findings pack and we're going to attach that extender chain to the six millimeter jump ring and the length at the end you'll see um, we're going to put another little beaded drop at the end of this for to be decorative and you could adjust the length of that chain or eliminate it entirely. It would be totally up to you, your preference. 
Okay, we're going to put the slider crimp tube on the wire. Make sure that everything's hanging well. Bring it through the jump ring. And back through the crimp tube. Pull it snug, but not so snug that our, our necklace won't drape nicely. And again, use our crimping pliers to close that crimp. Trim that wire tail. Now we're going to make a beaded drop to dangle off the end of our extender chain. Again, this is optional. Head pin. Slide on a five millimeter gold round, four millimeter, blue e bead. <laughs> Two more four millimeter gold rounds. A clear bugle bead, a turquoise bugle bead, and one more four millimeter gold round. We're going to trim that and form a loop. And then we're just going to open that loop and connect that loop to the bottom of the extender chain. Close it back up. And there, our necklace is complete. There you go. I'm really happy with this necklace. I love the colors in it. If you make your own statement necklace, we'd love to see it. You can share it with us on Instagram at hashtag createwithcousin. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.